Thanks to some clever engineering, all of the components I need to move forward with my progression are being produced autonomously. However, the process is gruelingly slow, so I'm going to let the machines do their job and head out into the wilderness to see what secrets I can uncover. What in the world is this? This looks like some kind of resource, but it doesn't really have the same appearance as anything. SAM or pure. I might as well harvest some of this and we'll take a look at it back in the material analyzer. I wonder what this could possibly open up. What in the... What is going on here? What is that in the distance? I've got some enemies here. What is this here? <laughs> what is all this crazy stuff? Let me take care of some of these enemies first. And that... It looks like some kind of jellyfish with a unicorn on it. Oh, not enough space. Uh, well, come back for that stuff later. Because I don't want to waste these guys' precious organs <laughs> or whatever it is dropped. <laughs> they are quite useful. Uh, but I want to take a look at that. What is that? Huh, well, let me find out what this is first. Oh, Mercer Sphere. Okay. So I have one of these. I might as well try and grab this one, too. Let's drop uh, the mushrooms. And we'll pick up this guy. Looks like you have to collect it the same way as a, uh, a slug. So again, another thing uh, that may not currently have a use considering it has the WIP work in progress tag on it. So what in the... Goodness gracious, finding a lot of goofy stuff here. Is this friendly? Hostile? I'm guessing it's hostile. What are you going to do here, pal? Huh. Well, okay, so it's emitting some kind of poison gas. Hmm... The poison's gone away, and it's now sitting on the ground, if that's what you can call it. So I'm going to run up and take a look. Oh, stop! <laughs> All right, well, I can't get up there. I might not be able to damage it either. So, <laughs> okay. Goofy little thing up there, and I, I'm, I don't want to go and look up in the, the wikis what that is, because I want to be able to discover things for myself. But again, like I said, I don't have any idea how to research this further. So <laughs> we'll move on. Now, what is that thing? I'm discovering all sorts of crazy... Oh, it looks like one of those 90s S's. <laughs> I wonder if that's on purpose. Let me see if I can get up there somehow. Here it is. It is a summer's loop work in progress. So another goofy thing that I have seen previously and am now seeing like an updated model for. So I guess I might as well hang on to them because they'll presumably be useful in the future when uh, the update is released where we can use them. I've never made it out to this area. It's a really cool looking forest. Looks like we got another one of the Summer Sloop S's over there. But I kind of like it in here. I haven't found any resources or enemies that are too unusual. But uh, if I were to build a house in here, I think I might do it around this area. Now that sounds like running water, which is surprising because I've only found water... Whoa! Maybe it's the sound of this deadly gas? Is there a spring probably contaminated with some kind of toxins down this area but I want to take a quick look I don't have any more health though so let me just take a peek I don't know I didn't see any oh god this is bad get out get out <laughs> I think I found the source and yes there it is along with some extra berries that I've been picking up to help keep me alive so I found some additional water which is important because I need the water along with the coal in order to create sizable amounts of electricity with the coal generators. So I guess I'm just going to keep exploring this. Hopefully it's a river and leads to or from a larger body of water. Uh, but I, I really like this area. It looks really cool. I like the blue kind of ultraviolet theme. And uh, if there was any home building, like I said earlier, this is where I would do it. <laughs> Okay, this definitely has to go somewhere secret, right? It's almost the equivalent of a waterfall. And it looks... Oh, there is a... Oh, huh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to go full salmon mode and go up the... Oh, no! Spiders! Spiders! <laughs> They're water spiders! <laughs> Kill it with fire! <laughs> oh, God, what happened? Okay, got my taser stick back. Uh, they don't seem to be very maneuverable in the water. I think they're getting trapped in kind of the deep areas like I was. But, uh, okay, I am now safe from all of the spiders. Didn't really... Oh, there's one more. Okay. I think he is... I still hear skittering. There we go. Are we good? Okay, so this is the secret area, perhaps. There's something else up here. Is that another Mercer Sphere? How would I get up there? Okay, so this one is very well hidden, which makes me think that they're supposed to be rare. 
Uh, the other ones were not. Uh, but I like this area. Huh. If there was like a combat component to this game, I can imagine this would be an extremely overpowered area to uh, put a little base and a vault. This is previously as far as I've gone towards the north near one of my coal extraction sites and I have a lot of medicinal inhalers this time to try and pass through this toxic gas because I don't have access to a gas mask just yet. So we're going to try and brute force our way through this and oh god this is already bad. Lost two bars of health, losing a lot more. I'm losing it quicker I think so let me get out of here and use this quickly. I'm actually just going to keep running. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave my truck there <laughs> in the toxic gas and move forward. <laughs> I have a dilemma here. I've reached a giant pit and I'm pretty confident that there's nothing down there and that I will probably die when I hit the ground. And I don't see an easier way down this direction. It looks like there's some land there and I'm going to risk it <laughs> and try and use my parachute to end up in that region and hope that it connects to something. It looks like it'll go down that way, and then maybe I can swing around towards the land over there, which I know will lead back to my base. So I'm going to uh, take this jump and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to deploy the parachute so that we have a little bit more control. And that was a lot better than I was expecting. I don't really see much down here. In fact, I'm not sure that that's going to lead where I want it to. So I'm going to keep trying to go forward. I'm kind of like doggy paddling through here. <laughs> it looks like my character is finally comfortable with the situation, but it still does look like that doesn't lead anywhere. So I think I made the right call, but parachuting through trees is not the safest of uh, tactics. But now that we're on the ground, things are okay. And I'm going to try and make my way around to, uh, oh, I think I might have made a mistake here. <laughs> With the help of some foundations and stairs, I've made it out of that giant pit area, but there didn't seem to be anything useful, so I'm just going to keep moving forward. I feel like I've been here before. It looks kind of creepy, though. I'm going to grab my stun stick just in case. Okay, there they are. Here come the spiders. But with this new weapon, I think I should be able to take care of them no problem. They're even running away from me. <laughs> That's probably a good sign. This cave is actually enormous. Now that looks like a resource node that I haven't seen before. So, oh, radiation. Oh, whoo. Okay. So that's actually kind of exciting because we now have a new threat and a whole different class of substance. That might be some sort of radioactive isotope. Kind of future alien uranium. So I'm going to see if I can get closer just to see what it is. Make sure that I have my medicinal inhaler, but I'm guessing the radiation is going to affect me in a way that is different than just regular damage. So, ooh, this is not really killing me. Oh, it's killing me. It's uranium. Okay, so <laughs> I at least saw that and um, didn't really die too quickly. The, the radiation I thought might stick with me and give me some sort of radiation poisoning, but I seem to be okay. I want to actually grab a little bit of it so that I can throw it in the resource analyzer. So let's use this inhaler. And then I'm going to run over quickly, just try and grab a little bit so that we can analyze it. Oh, 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 that's just really killing me. <laughs> so I have two of it, and uh, hopefully that's going to be... Oh, boy. Oh, no, my radiation levels. Oh, no, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, how do I cleanse my radiation levels? Oh, okay, so mm, this is not looking good for me. Well, I am out of inhalers, and that is a large spider, just to uh, add insult to injury. So, I uh, I think I made the mistake of going even farther into the, uh, into the cave, and ended up getting myself killed by radiation and a giant spider. So now I have to go all the way back and try and gather all my stuff, because that was a lot of useful things that I don't want to leave out in the wilderness. While walking back, I realized what the problem was and why I was being stupid, so <laughs> I realized it's I had that radiation level because I had the radiation in my pack, so clearly it was killing me. So I'm going to grab all of my stuff here, and I am actually going to throw away the uranium because I have no way to carry it with me right now. So until, you know what might have been smart is maybe I could have put it on my vehicle storage instead of having to walk with it so I don't really know how to handle it right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and and let it be 
Alright, there you are, giant spider. Let's go. Was that it? No, I was scared for nothing, I guess. Although I did have the uranium killing me last time too, so <laughs> they teamed up and it really killed me. Goodness, this cave is long. I wonder where this leads to. It better be something cool. Okay, I see light. Where are we going to lead out to? Well, the first thing is a mini boss fight. Oh god, I don't have the health for this! <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> Unbelievable! Okay, pal, can I avoid you altogether this time? Or am I going to aggro you regardless? I'm gonna keep running. His aim is absurd, though. These guys are crazy. I, I have been completely unable to dodge them. Now, this guy's got more of a, an artillery barrage kind of attack as opposed to the snipers, which are the smaller versions of him. So I see... Oh, speak of the devil. All right, let's... Oh. All right, well, I guess I can keep running. Well, this is a completely unique-looking area, and I wish I had a map. I keep hitting M instinctively to try and find out where I am. And I think the answer to that question is lost. <laughs> so luckily, I have the markers on my HUD to tell me what general direction everything is. But as far as getting back there, I'm not looking forward to the task. Well, 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 what do we have here? Caterium ore. Now, I'm guessing this is not radioactive. I'm going to grab a sample to bring back to my base. In fact, I'm going to grab just a whole lot. My god, this map just feels like it goes on forever. I've left the jungle, and I'm now... Wait, hold on, this is some more SAM ore, but this is like a full node that you can actually put a, a miner on, so that's interesting. I'm going to be able to grab a whole lot of this. I don't know what it's for, though, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. But I'm out of that jungle, and I'm now in an area that more resembles where I started. But I could not be farther away from it. It is over there, and it's not giving me any distance markers, but... <laughs> Suffice it to say, it's it's far. So I'm wondering if this is perhaps the edge of the map. I can take a look. Oh my god, it's not really. <laughs> it looks like stuff still goes on over that way. Oh my god. So I can see some land there and even higher that I can walk on. I'm wondering if I can actually get over to those mountains over there that are more orange in color, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have any sort of jetpack, and I'm worried that if I jump down, I'm not going to be able to get back up. So I'm actually going to call it quits on this exploration journey, <laughs> which um, is actually not that bad. I found a lot of cool stuff, discovered a lot of areas. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any beacons with me, so it's going to be harder to come back out here and find them again in case I need to mine some uranium or the cat what was that called that I picked up? Caterium ore. So uh, found a lot of cool stuff, but now it's time to head back and uh, analyze what we found. I'm on my way back and still finding incredible vistas. I mean, look at this. This looks like some kind of coral. Everything's very blue. I'm interested to go down and see what's in that clearing there. I'm guessing some kind of water. But look at these plants. Everything is crazy. Now I have the same problem here that I had earlier. Ah, you know what? I'm going to go down and risk it anyways. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'll be able to... Oh! Parachute! No! <laughs> oh, am I out of parachutes? I am out of parachutes, so somehow I've survived that. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> there are a ton more of these goofy-looking creatures uh, down in... Uh, whatever you want to call this, the coral region. And I'm guessing that they're in... Oh, spiders. <laughs> Every time spiders have to come ruin my good time. I'm guessing that these guys do something, and maybe I can harvest something from them. Come on, spiders, give me a break. But uh, again, I don't know what that is right now, so we're going to have to just leave them be. Oh, no, a big dude, too. Oh, gosh, this area is dangerous. <laughs> and I'm down to very little health uh, regaining equipment left, so I'm going to have to just keep on running. I've made it all the way down to the bottom, and I see some wreckage here along with what looks like water. I'm hoping that it's just water. I'm trying to stay away from these guys because I know that they explode and they send these, like, bees at me. But they haven't been too much of a problem now that I have my new upgraded Xeno Basher. They're just a little bit annoying, so I'm going to check out this water quickly. I'm hoping that it won't kill me. It looks like it is safe for the most part. So I don't know what kind of resources are around here. Uh, there may be coal. I can take a quick look. And if there is, this could be a location for an additional power plant. It looks like there's no coal nearby. Maybe some half a kilometer that way. Oh, God, there's... <laughs> I can go half a kilometer that way? Oh, God, there's going to be so much exploring to do. 
<laughs> but this is one of oh god computer Whew. look at that we got industrial beams so, uh, so these like wreckages they always have some advanced materials and supposedly contain some of the backstory uh, but I prefer to just kind of leave them there as a oh, there we go <laughs> as like a foreshadowing for what I can unlock in the future because uh, I'm guessing that I'll be able to produce the computers on my own pretty soon Man, it is spooky here. What is that over there? That's a different looking tree. Maybe it's just one of those, like a couple of them. Oh man, I want to go over there, but it's so far. <laughs> this game really is beautiful. Well, home sweet home. I really did not expect to be coming back to my base from this angle. I thought I'd be coming back from over there, which just goes to show how turned around I was. I think I actually took the tractor up to about this direction to the north and then looped all the way around. Didn't get as far as I thought, but now that I'm back here, it's gonna be nice to uh, put my feet up, grab some more supplies that I need, uh, like the medicinal inhalers and uh, other backup material, and then go ahead and put everything I found that I can into the material analyzers. And that was a really, really fun excursion. I was initially a little bit disappointed that I was already discovering all of the territory, but then seeing how vast the map was, I'm now confident that there is a lot that I haven't discovered, and we're going to have to just keep on pushing forward with the technology back here so I can learn how to do things like manage the, I keep forgetting what that's called, Katerium ore, and the uranium. And so a lot of cool stuff to go, found a lot of awesome stuff, and I'm sure there are still some cool things out there to be discovered. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.